Because James 5.16 tells us we are to confess our sins to one another and pray for one another that we may be healed. Do you know that sin actually deforms our soul? And for us to be healed in our soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions, we have to confess our sins to one another. And quite often we want to do it just between us and God, right? We don't really want somebody else to know. But are we really dealing with it and are we really forsaking it if we're not willing to confess it and bringing out, bring it out into the light with someone else? The scripture tells us to do that. It's like then we're really being accountable. I'm trusting you with this information, this sin I've tried to keep under the surface. And God has shown me you can't continue to grow and be formed into Christ's likeness until you bring this out into the open, confess it, forsake it, and get forgiven of it. And when I confess it to someone else and I pray with them over it, now I'm accountable to them, but also it loses its hold. It is a spiritual truth that when I bring it out into the light and present it to someone else, it's amazing how then I look at it and think, why did I have such a hard time with that? Why did I try to hold that in the dark? Why did I allow myself to be tormented by the enemy by hanging on to this? God is saying, confess it. Pray with someone about it so that it no longer has a hold on you so that God can continue to work and work and work below the surface to make you into a Christ-like follower, one who looks like Jesus so that you can have the greatest impact in this world in the days in which we live and the number of days he's given you on this planet. You want them all to count. I want mine to count.